Laurels make the world go around during the Guardian games and will allow you to unlock the new title SMG as well as the contender and platinum cards which go towards completing certain triumphs. To create Laurels you'll need to have the Guardian games class item equipped and any ability or super final blow will create a Laurel for your class. There's a new training and competitive Guardian Games strike scoring playlist this time too which will be the most efficient way to create laurels. The main purchase for laurels during the event will be to pick up contender or platinum cards from either Levante which upon completing the objectives in the cards will net you medals ultimately helping towards your class's total score. These objectives will range from completing certain activities to creating laurels with certain abilities. So let's look at some builds for all classes that you can use to make creating laurels fast and easy on your way to the top spot on the podium. First up we've got the warlocks and we've got one build for each subclass. For any solar based objectives you'll want to use the top tree dawnblade attunement of sky and pair it with the sunbracer's exotic gauntlets. Airborne final blows will refresh your celestial fire melee and when you defeat enemies with your melee you'll proc some braces to throw infinite solar grenades for 5 seconds. It's pretty insane and you'll have laurels for days doing this. Alternatively for void, chaos accelerant paired with controverse hold exotic gauntlets will offer a similar effect. You can overcharge your void grenade with chaos accelerant and any grenade hits will return grenade energy allowing for near infinite void grenades. It's very easy to pull off with very little effort. Lastly, Attunement of Conduction along with the Crown of Tempest is the best for arc ability kills. Crown will grant increased arc ability regen rates and when paired with the arc web ability you'll be chaining your melee or grenade all of the time creating plenty of laurels. For titan lovers out there desperate to regain their title from last year there's tons of choice for easy laurel creation. Arcwise, I'd pick the Code of the Earthshaker along with the insurmountable Skull 4 exotic helmet. This exotic always comes out when maximum ability uptime is required as any melee kill with the shoulder charge will instantly recharge it allowing you to destroy everything. Plus you get 2 grenades as standard making it as easy as it gets to create laurels. The Sunbreaker Middle Tree Code of the Devastator paired with the Ashen Wake is great as you can have infinite hammer throw melees and then you can overcharge your fusion grenade which will one shot nearly everything making this a must have combo for solo objectives to create laurels. Void Titans will want to look at using the Heart of Inmost Light to empower your ability regen along with the Bastion and Offensive Bulwark aspects so that you can have near infinite melee and grenade ability uptime making it a great choice for consistent laurel production. Finally and on to the reigning champions with hunters and first up you'll want to use the middle tree way of the thousand cuts. This is the easiest subclass to use as you'll have near infinite uptime with the knife trick melee. Chuck on the young Hahamkara spine for improved trip mine grenade damage and you'll be creating laurels for days. Arkwise, Way of the Warrior is the top pick thanks to its deadly reach and combination blow infinite melee ability. The dodge melee back to back combo is immense and I chuck on Liar's Handshake to take out even the toughest of opponents with just one punch. Night Stalker wise you'll probably want to lean into a Devour build with Omnioculus to get your Void Grenades back quicker and use the Echo of Expulsion to make everything go boom. As for stasis on all classes I'd recommend specking into your melee ability where possible as these are the most deadly outright stasis abilities. For the most consistent uptime though I'd recommend using any of the harvest aspects and with the whisper of fractures fragment as a bare minimum. Mods wise I'd definitely lean into the elemental well mods with a full suite of these across your armour allowing for the most effective way to create them and benefit not only from their bump to ability regen when collected but also the increased super regen they can offer too. Happy Guardian Games everyone, may the odds be ever in your favour.